Okay, here's our last video. This is the uh, same car, BMW 318 uh, Ti. Cute little hatch. I got it for a pretty good deal on Craigslist. Uh, we put a new front end on it, so uh, you know I got to line it up a little bit. And uh, if you looked at my last video, you'll see that uh, you know well, all cars, I guess, all front or uh, McPherson truck cars, they don't really have a lot of adjustment up front. They just have toe in. So this car, before I took it apart, went down the road straight. All four tires wore evenly. There's no reason to believe it has anything major as far as alignment problem. So what I did, I put a piece of mason twine around it. You can see the white line there. It's about halfway up. I got it about even, you know, up and down around the car. And I just hold it on with duct tape in the front and around the corners. So uh, I got it pretty tight. You know, same mason twine used for, you know, masonry. What we're looking for here is just... Uh, you know, look at the how even it is right here. This is a this is about three quarter inch gap. You know where my finger is, maybe an inch right there. We go up front here. We got about an inch, inch and a half, and we're about if we look, we're about a quarter inch from the tire right there. Okay. Now if we go around this side, we can see we're we're touching the tire pretty good here. Okay. Now we got about the same. We got about an inch and a quarter here. Uh, our body line, we got about three quarter, maybe a little bit more here. And, uh, you know, it's taut back here again. And uh, we also, just so you know, we got the steering wheel just about straight. Okay, it's uh, that's where you want it to be when you're going down the road straight. So that's where we want it to be when we're adjusting the toe in. And I got it on pieces of, uh, let's see, I got it on a little piece of cardboard. Mostly so, you know, the wheel turns a little easier because I'm going to twist the tie rod ends. I'm going to get a tape measure under there now and get a measurement. I want the front to be towed in about about one eighth of an inch. So the front measurement has to be an inch eighth of an inch smaller than the back measurement. Uh, it's not a science. I can't get directly uh, halfway on the tire. I wish I could, but uh, with a tape measure, I'll do what I can. And what I'll do then is once I figure out how much I got to move, I'll try to get this evened out. This dimension here is my critical dimension. Remember, on the other side, I had about a quarter inch of slot. So I'll either get if I gotta tow it in more, I'll take the other side in so it tightens this up. And if I gotta tow it out more, I'll take this side out so I get a little more slop there. So let me adjust it. And uh, I hope that explains uh, what I'm up to with this uh, um, you know, mason twine. It's not very sophisticated. Uh, I've done it to uh, half a dozen cars. Again, these cars weren't demolished. They were good running cars and they had good tread wear. So I had no no belief other than uh, they're in pretty good shape and I put new suspension components on this you know the control arms and stuff so I really don't think I need to get much more in depth than uh, you know unless something amazing happens I'm not gonna take it to the shop and spend a hundred bucks to give it give them to give me a tow in so that's uh, that's the excitement maybe uh, I mean I'll show you underneath the car once I uh, figure out what I gotta do okay here I have the car set up with a string you know I got two tape measures uh, one in the front of the tire I got no help tonight. He's fishing, so, and I basically just got the, the front end of the tape measure duct taped to the tire. You know that way it doesn't fall off. I can do it myself then. And uh, quite honestly, any day you can use duct tape uh, for a new application is a good day. So I like that. So, and the front, if we look at it, we got a. Uh, oops, sorry, I'm moving around here. We got about a uh, 59 right right in here 59 so in the back of the tire we'd want about 59 and an eight and in the back we have a uh, what do we have we have about just a little under 59 and an eight so we're pretty close remember when we set this up we I made the tie rod ends about the same uh, equal distance to the ones I took off, so that that really got us pretty close. But we're we could go out in the back a little bit. So as we stated before, this tire here is a little snug, right right here. If you pull against the string, oh sorry, if you pull against the string, there's a uh, no slop there. But this tire, you know, we got a little bit of. We got a little bit of movement here, so what I'm going to do is uh, adjust this side, maybe uh, you know, turn and a half, and do a remeasure, 
and that'll kick this thing out a little bit. Maybe get us in tow, and uh, we'll be good to go. So, again, the steering wheel is still straight. Let's just check that out. The steering wheel is still straight, pretty straight. So, uh, you know, not splitting atoms here. But uh, let me adjust it and see what I get. So here we are, we got the thing pretty close. If you look in the front, you know, the front of the wheel, we're, uh, whoops, we're just a skosh under 59, about a 16th under. On the back side of the tire, we're about, oops, sorry about that. We're just, uh, a little over 59. So that's about an eighth of an inch altogether. Now, if you look at the the line here, we're just we're touching a little bit, no doubt about it. And this side, you know, we're now touching. We're not touching quite as hard as uh, the other side, but. Uh, you do it, you try it. You put your mason twine on here and you know mess with it a little bit and make your adjustments. You'll probably mess up a couple, but you know you, the wheel's pretty straight, so we're good to go here, I think. So I'm gonna get underneath, tighten the bolts, and uh, take it for a test drive. So we did a lot with this car in the past uh, week. We made a neat little puller to uh, take out the control arm bushings. Uh, anytime you can make tools is a good day too, so I like that and uh, put a muffler on the beast, change the diff fluid. So this 98's got about another 10, 10 more years in it. So, okay, enjoy the video, I hope. Talk to you later, bye.